Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today is My Girl Thursday, and I am sending love to my daughter who's out there in the world finding her way. And today, I have two cute little books that pretty much sums up how she is. They are cute, they're funny, <laughs> and they are so my girl. The first one is, I will never not ever eat a tomato and this is by Lauren Child and the second one is Picky Nikki and this is a picture reader book and this is by Kathy East Dabowski and Mark Dabowski We'll go with the first one. I will never ever eat a tomato. This book is for Soren, who is crazy about tomatoes, but would never eat a baked bean with love from Lauren, who is keen on mar marmite, but would rather not eat a raisin. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give Lola her dinner. This is difficult because she is a very fussy eater. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says peas are too small and too green. One day I played a trick on her. Lola was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner. And she said, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. And I am not fond of apples or rice or cheese and absolutely will never, not ever eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. And I said, that is lucky because we are not having any of those things. We are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausage. There will be no cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and certainly no tomatoes. Lola looked at the table. Then, why are these carrots there, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. And I said, oh, you think these are carrots? These are not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They look just like carrots to me, said Lola, but how can they be carrots? I said, carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, said Lola. Well, I might just try one if they're all the way from Jupiter. Mmm, not bad, she said, and took another bite. Then 
Then Lola saw some peas. I don't eat peas, said Lola. I said, these are not peas. Of course they are not. These are green drops from Greenland. They are made out of green and fall from the sky. But I don't eat green things, Lola said. Oh, goody, I said, I'll have to share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, said Lola, quite tasty. Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try. Not even mashed. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People often think that, but no. This is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fiji. Oh, said Lola, in that case, a large helping for me. I love to eat cloud. Charlie said, Charlie, she said, those look like fish sticks to me, and I would never eat fish sticks. I know that these are not fish sticks. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I went to that market supermarket one time with my mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before. Are there any more? Lola said, gobbling. And then she said, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, what? One of these? And Lola said, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I could have, couldn't have, could believe my eyes because guess what she was pointing to? Guess what she was pointing at? The tomatoes. And I said, are you sure? Really? One of these? And she said, yes. Of course, moon squishers are my favorite. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? And that is the end of I Will Never Ever Eat Tomatoes by Lauren Child. I do not own the rights to this book, but I love storytelling magic, and my next book is all about the magic of Picky Nikki. To Megan at Tree at Three, love mom and dad. Mom and Dad say supper is ready. Picky Nikki says, I want... That looks like spaghetti. I want spaghetti. Mom says, no, we are having peas and carrots. Picky Nikki says, I would rather eat bees and birds than peas and carrots. Dad says, we are also having grapes and pears. Picky Nikki says, I would rather eat gorillas and bears than 
grapes, and pears. Picky Nikki says, Freddy always has spaghetti. Dad says, then go eat at Freddy's. Ooh. So Picky Nikki goes to Freddy's, goes to Freddy's house. She goes to the door. She rings the bell. What's for supper? She says, it's spaghetti, says Freddy. Get a plate. Freddie's mom brings the spaghetti. Then she says, we are also having carrots, peas, and pears. Pass your plate. Oh no, Picky Nicky thinks, I would rather eat bees, birds, gorillas, and bears than pay peas, carrots, grapes, and pears. What will she do? Yes, what will she do? I know Picky Nikki takes a spoon of peas, a spoon of carrots, some grapes, and a little bit of pear. She hides them under her spaghetti. Soon, her plate is clean. Where are the peas, carrots, grapes, and pear? Wow, Picky Nikki ate them. Mm. The next night, Picky Nikki says, I will eat anything if I can hide it in spaghetti. Dad says, even peas, carrots, grapes, and pears. Even ice cream. Even dessert. Picky Nikki says, no, I will have my dessert all by itself. <laughs> my favorite page is, the next night, Picky Nikki says, I will eat anything if I can hide it in spaghetti. Dad says, even carrots, grapes, and pears, even ice cream, your dessert. Picky Nikki says, no, I will have my dessert, my ice cream all by itself. And here are the words for this book, the sight words that you can see and spell them out. Spaghetti, peas, carrots, bees, birds, grapes. Pears, gorillas, bees, bears, house, door, bell. Plate, spoon, dessert, table, bus, star. Sun, truck, bicycle, book, apple, and bed. And that is the end of this picture reader book. Simple words, robust pictures, and flashcards make learning to read easy and fun. Give kids a head start with the picture reader. All aboard reading! Boys and girls, it is Miss Reynolds with Board Better Off Reading Every Day. It's been my pleasure to bring this book to you, but you know what one of my favorite thing is. It is whenever we have books that go with food and I get to try them with you. So of course, Board with Miss Reynolds is going to sacrifice and have one of her favorite things, tomatoes, which happens to be one of my daughter's least favorite things. My girl, 
does not like tomatoes, which was always a mystery. Hmm. And we could never figure it out because my daughter has an Italian grandma and an Italian great grandma who I used to spend hours with in the kitchen making sauce with all those delicious tomatoes. And she turned out to be a girl who do not like tomatoes at all. So no making sauce, no hanging out with grandma in the kitchen for hours making sauce. That was just an honor that I had many, many times and many, many years ago. Now that she's all grown up, she can eat whatever she want. But guess what? Still doesn't like tomatoes. I do though, and I'm gonna partake in them. <sighs> oh, boys and girls, the struggles that I go through for you, the, the real struggle here is we have a few different kinds of tomatoes. We have tomatoes from the vine. Mm. Ah, yeah. We have cherry tomatoes right here all these cherry tomatoes and we have I believe they call these big guys the beef steak the beef steak tomatoes I think that's what they call them I hope so I'm pretty sure beef steak because they're nice and big and my favorite that I grew up on plum tomatoes. I grew up with those in my island of Jamaica and that's the only kind of tomatoes that we use for everything. We put them in everything, um, especially when we were cooking meats and we would actually just slice them up and have them next to our dinners on our plate with a little salt on them because I don't know if you know when you put salt on tomatoes they start to sweat. Yeah, they start to get sweat, and when they sweat, they are delicious. But ones that I've really loved since I've been in America is these, tomatoes on the vine. Sometimes I find them a little pricey, but when they're on sale, I always get them because they are extremely delicious in salads and on burgers. Yes. But no tomato in my house these days tastes better than with. I'm gonna let you see it up close. That is Amagansett pure sea salt. It is absolutely delicious on tomatoes. And I order this and I put it on my tomatoes all the time. Look. And inside you can see the thick salt. And they make this right out there in Amagansett. You should see the process and how they do it. Oh my goodness. That is Amagansett sea salt. I'll show you the side. These little glass jars are so cute. And they have different um, types of the Amagansett sea salt that they sell. But that's this one in particular, the pure sea salt, is the ones that I love. On tomatoes so I'm gonna show you real quick uh -oh. hmm? let's open our sea salt I usually sprinkle a little bit on top oh my god mmm go mm, 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 mm. Since I'm doing this for you and only you, I'm gonna have another. A little salt. Mm. Yeah. It's a sacrifice, but we're gonna do it. One more. You know what? Two more. We don't want to not, you know, even out the plate a little bit. Mmm. 
that one had no salt and it just went right in. But this, this one, a little salt. Mm. So, what have we learned today, boys and girls? Miss Reynolds loves her tomatoes. Her daughter does not. My girl, I will never, ever not eat tomatoes and picky nicky. But those are going to be going into tomatoes with mozzarella and basil and olive oil a little bit later. That's what I'm making. And guess who's going to eat it all? Yeah. Bored with Miss Reynolds. Better off reading every day. Thank you for sharing this great story with me all about not eating tomatoes. That I got to eat tomatoes. Yes! <laughs> Bye!